Hey, have you always wanted to learn how to sew or you would like to either make some clothes or alter some clothes or maybe make some pillows for your sofa or maybe some curtains? In this video, I'm going to show you or tell you, in my opinion, the number one thing that is holding you back from learning how to sew right now. Hi, Mimsy here. I teach budget-minded people how to beautify and improve their homes with home decor sewing and DIY. And today I'm going to tell you what I think is the single most important thing or the number one one thing holding you back from learning to sew and this is my opinion but I think the most important thing is having a dedicated sewing space. You need to have a space where you can have your sewing machine set up. You have to have that machine ready when inspiration strikes. Otherwise if you have to pull it out from a closet, unpack it, clear off your dining room table in order to set it up it's just not gonna happen. It doesn't matter if that sewing space is one tiny little table or nightstand next to your bed. If your sewing machine's at least set up there, even if you have clothes piled on top of it, all you have to do is take them off and throw them on your bed so you can turn on your sewing machine and hem those pants or make that pillow when the inspiration strikes. If you don't have it set up, Believe me, I've been there. So anyway, not everybody can have a 20 by 20 sewing room like I have here or like some of the sewing rooms that I've seen. I'm gonna show you a few inspiration photos of some sewing rooms that I came across that are so fantastic and inspiring. So I'm just gonna show you a few of my favorites so that maybe you'll be inspired to set up a little sewing space for yourself either in a guest bedroom or in a closet or in an armoire, just some place where you can have your sewing machine set up and plugged in and ready to go. So that when you come home from the thrift store with that top that just needs a dart taken in or a pair of pants that just need to be nipped at the waist or shortened, you'll be ready to make that happen right away. It's now dark and I'm standing at my computer and I'm not used to this type of video where I'm not doing a DIY, but actually just talking to you. So we'll see how this goes. So so the first picture is so cute. Little light bright alcove here. Looks like it could be tucked into a hallway or maybe in an attic or off the kitchen, something like that. But cute little space, highly efficient with an ironing board and everything and little storage unit underneath the desk, super cute. And then the next one is clearly a bedroom, but what a nice little space right there next to the window, so light and bright. This one is by threadquarters.co.uk. And then the next space, this little coral colored sewing space, another one tucked in next to the window, so cute, so efficient, nice lighting there. That one is by missyouonamonday.com, super cute little sewing space. I think she has a blog too. And then this next one is a little closet sewing space, which I love. In my previous house, I did this in my guest bedroom. I set up, it was a closet pretty much just like this, and I put a little sewing desk in there, used, used it just like this. Loved it because I could just close the doors when I was done sewing for the day, and the mess could all just be contained in there. That was a great idea. And then the next one, super creative. I love this. The armoire, it's very creative. Love this. Again, the doors could just be closed space and the room could be used for anything. I mean, that could be in your kitchen and your living room even, really. That could be that could be set up anywhere in your house. You wouldn't even know it was a sewing armoire. This next one is super creative. Somebody put together two bookshelves with hinges and then created a sewing cabinet out of that. And they must have put a fold-down desk or something in there to hold the sewing machine. But this is so creative and so darn cute. You'll have to pause here and just get a good look at this one. It's so, so cute. This one is done by, oh, actually, this is one of the ones that I couldn't find a source for. I saw a ton of pictures of this, but there was, I, it led me to no sources. So one of the things that all of these sewing rooms do not address is cutting fabric. And that's a super important and a big part of sewing is cutting your patterns or cutting your fabric. Fabric. I have a huge table, but you don't need to have a huge cutting table. You can cut right on your dining room table. I have cut many, many times right on the floor. I'll just clean my floors and then cut fabric right on the floor, particularly when I'm doing large, long drapery panels or big 
big things like that. But that that's really easy to do. Um, there's a couple other solutions. You can get one of these cardboard foldable cutting uh, mats that they sell on Joanne at Joanne or at some of the fabric stores like this one here. Um, you can place that on your bed and then cut on there if you're doing sewing patterns. This gal here put together a thin, thin sheet of plywood. She used flooring underlayment and then attached her rotary cutting mat to the plywood, which this is genius because a rotary cutting mat is so convenient to have. This was a really great idea. And then she puts it on her ironing board like this and uses that as her cutting table, which is really, really smart. Or it could be put on your bed or on your dining room table or on the floor. Anyway, this was a really great idea. This one is by, this is heatherhandmade.com. And so she has a whole blog post about attaching her rotary cutting mat to her plywood. So she, you can look at that heatherhandmade.com. And then as far as storage goes, there's a couple cute storage ideas. This wall storage here is just Ikea. That's a pegboard. That's a great idea that could be hung in a closet or on the back of a door. So it's really hardly visible. And then this bench I thought was super cute and creative if you have a tiny little sewing space set up in a bedroom corner this end of the bed bench would be a great place to store fabrics and notions and then last little storage thing that I thought was super creative and efficient is hanging your fabric on hangers like this a pa pants hangers this is pretty genius I think it doesn't take up a lot of space just make sure your rod is nice and sturdy because fabric is so so heavy people tell me all the time when I tell them that I'm a seamstress or sewist and they say oh I wish I'd have learned how to sew or my mom used to sew or my grandma tried to teach me to sew and I never really learned well it's not too late just set yourself up a little space and when inspiration comes then you'll be ready to act on that so tell me in the comments below how you have your sewing space set up check out this video about let me know in the comments below and hit me up on Instagram I'm in or Mimsy and Co send me some pics of your sewing spaces